Out of the railway and Mick Lacey takes a seventh. It drops into the square. Cunningham is there. He shoots. It's a goal. The teams are left. Anyway, they're, they're where they deserve to be now, anyway. As we proud day to see the cup coming back to the garden, whenever it'll be, I know with COVID there won't be, but uh, memories of 59, a lot of people are long since gone, but for you, bridging that gap must be, like, as you say, it doesn't matter to, to the players as such, but it's been too long for a county like Waterford. Yeah, well, it's too long, like, for people to be talking about 59, <laughs> 50 years afterwards, like, yeah. you know. Uh, and it's only kind of, uh, it's only, like I say, give another opponents, you know, the, the stronger teams uh, kind of seem to have the right to kind of be a bit look, look down you, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. not, as, not as much as as used to be, but uh, uh, no, like uh, the, the, uh, the winning in the match is the main thing and whether there's a parade or there's a nothing that that will all be forgotten six months time mm -hmm. they'd still be all Ireland champions whether there was five there or five thousand or fifty thousand it's still the all Ireland like and it can't be belitt belittled because of the the way things turned out and the way it had to be played mm -hmm. like you know mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it probably benefited Waterford the way it was played anyway like you know so maybe we should uh, look to have it done that way every year. That's very good. And uh, would you have thought, Tom? Sorry. Would you have thought that when he won it, that it'd take this long for us to be with a real chance of winning it again? I know we've had a couple of chances in the last number of years, but yeah, well, uh, you see, you don't, you re you really don't think that way, like you know. You, you, uh, or at least I didn't think anyway that way that should take that long uh, because you because every year you get out with hope like that you were going to do it like you know so uh, every year became a disappointment rather, rather than anything else hmm. uh, but people only started counting the years as they mounted up like you know so uh I, 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 uh, don't like the fact that this is kind of breaking whatever the hoodoo is for 50. 60. How many years are we? 51 or 50? 61. 61. Yeah. 60. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. No, that, that's, uh, it can be a grand thing to have done, like, for the team to have done, like, to break the, the 50 year gap or 60 year gap. You know, but uh, outside of that, it'll be there all Ireland. The, the other one will be mm. gone and lost and forgotten, like, you know, and uh, they'll be the current people that people want to talk to or that you, know, that you can bring to schools to uh, yes. show off your, uh, young youngsters and that, like, you know. So, uh, mm. There's a lot of pluses going with a win that carries over for a number of years and you know it helps to uh, promote the game it's, you know get young fellas out hurling and uh, you know so it becomes uh, it becomes the you know for the young fellas it becomes the game to play after winning in all Ireland, like, mm -hmm. you know. But Frank Walsh, then Chiesty, sends it to Larry Guy. Oh, what a save by Ollie Walsh. Today I'm giving him a great chance, but I didn't think, no, I didn't think it would, ta it would take so long. And uh, I'm hoping, because before we're all gone, uh, that we'll, we'll take it this time. I like... Do you ever get tired of people like me coming to ask you questions about something that happened 60 years ago? Because, you know, it has been so long. 
and you've, you've lived your lives and this is something that's, that's always been there and it, it mightn't have been the case if there had been a team in the 70s or the 80s or the one one but since you're the last guys to do it the likes of me and, and others like me come to talk to you on you know every couple of years when Waterford on a run and it's the same question is what does this mean to you and will it be the time is it something you ever get tired of no, I'd never get tired of it anyway. Um, you know, I'm sure Oak doesn't either. But um, never, no, never get tired of it. I, I, in fact, I love it because yeah. I love talking Harlan. I, 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 I'm Harlan all my life, and you know, and I just, I love watching it. And I never, never, never get tired. And um, oh, you, do you ever get tired of answering questions about no. 59 or? Do you ever get travel? Yeah. Oh, not at <laughs> all. I, 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 don't, I don't know. If it, but they should have won a couple of all Alice since then when he... I don't know what, what was missing. There was some little thing missing on, 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 on the day. So they seem to be gelling together now. And if they play... Uh, uh, Sunday, and I think it's like the fall we had to play against Kilkenny in the second half hour. I, 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 I think myself that they did probably beat Limerick. But, but if they give Limerick a good start, it's terrible hard to catch Limerick if you, if you leave them off. If you, if you, if you give them a, a good start, uh, it's, it's hard to peg them back then. But if you get on top of them in the first of the match, uh, it could be handy enough. I think Cal is fantastic he's, and he's done a fa fair job and I'd like to say thanks very much to him. The very last question for you so and it's a simple one but maybe it's a maybe it's a complicated answer. Is this Sunday going to be the day when they finally get over the hurdle again? I, 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 I don't know. Uh, I, 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 think, I think they have, they have the players all right to, to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to win, the, to win the match, provided that they, they, they hunt in packs. That's the way we see you say it. They hunt in packs, two or three fellas, you know, and if they keep going forward, uh. And, uh, and 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 distribute the ball like they did against Kikani in the second half hour. I I I I I I honestly think that they'd beat Limerick, all right. Larry. So, yeah, we'll be um, we'll be the big men, the strong men. We're we're big men too. We mightn't be as tall as them, or as big as them, but we're 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 certainly more determined than them. And they've got an All Ireland. We're, we're, we're waiting for it, and we'll take it this time. Please, God. Well, Thank you. Almost before Kilkenny folk could say Larry Guinan, Larry Guinan put the DC's county five points in front. Many were wondering if, after all, there was some truth in the idea that Waterford, once led, have little fight back. But the question was answered for them by Waterford centre half forward, the flying Tom Cheesley, who reduced the lead to three points. Uh, You'll be, you be certainly. Confidence they can do it. Yeah, yeah Michael, we, we spoke earlier about certain players. You mentioned about the skill of Stephen Bennett, but Austin Gleeson again reminds you of some of the great players you had, the Philly Grimes yeah, yeah. of Philly your Grimes era. would be a comparison. You, you said that to me Michael, before that, yeah, yeah. that he compared to the great he, Philly. He's, but he's gone through a difficult period that he became a superstar when he was only 18 or 19. Yeah. And, you know, he had his name and he was brilliant. But he wasn't able to improve on that or carry that forward for some reason. Yeah. But he seems to be just getting there now. Mm -hmm. And I, I would think playing him at full forward is the right position for uh, give him freedom. Mm -hmm. that he if you had any message for this current team, if you could ha say something to them ahead of this match, what, what would you say to them? The first thing I'd say is to have confidence in your ability. And I think there's some really outstanding players there. And if they can now build on the confidence they've beaten some of the best teams in the country, and they beat Kilkenny, 
and to carry that forward, you know, this confidence thing. I mean, when you're going for a ball, if you have confidence, you'll get it. But if you're in any kind of a doubt, this is the confidence thing. I, I, I put a lot of emphasis on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you feel, Michael, like this year's team, you saw something special early on, and you said to me the last day that they've grown in confidence and you like the way they play and the way they've bought in to the manager and the subs yeah. coming on. You feel yeah. this is a great golden opportunity for everyone involved. I, I, I'm very impressed at, with the, the confidence he's instilled in the team. Mm. Uh, the, that could carry them the whole way, it's like if they can maintain that. Yeah. Mm. And if they get any kind of a reasonable start, you know, they, they mm. can build on that. Super, yeah, super. You know? And your memories of the cup coming back to Capra Quinn in 59, up to the square, I remember I was only a kid uh, at the time, it's my so, it's, Kevin, it's so long ago now I can hardly remember it. <laughs> <laughs> but you have the medal to prove it anyway, you have yeah, the medal. I have the medal. Yeah, 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 we yeah. should have another one in 57. Yeah. I've no doubt about that. that. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we'd get Kenny beaten home. Yeah. And they got those two long distance goals, yeah. rough flukes. Yeah. 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 So you feel the long wait, Michael, could be over on Sunday? The long wait could be over on Sunday? I would expect it. Yeah. I'd give them a great chance now, I'd give them a great chance. And so the second epic game came to an end, with Waterford the winners by three goals and 12 points to one goal and 10 points. The Waterford supporters who had waited impatiently since their last All-Ireland victory 11 years before chaired their team off the field and gave their captain, Frank Walsh, a tumultuous and well-merited ovation when he received the cup which he had done so much to win. Local Station of the Year. WLR.